In this video, we'll be going over how to properly test the power and ground circuits of the PCM with a voltage drop test. Performing this test shows if the PCM is working properly or if the power and ground circuits have excessive resistance. We'll perform this test on a 2002 Jeep Liberty Sport 3.7 liter V6. The tools you will need to perform this test are a wiring diagram of the PCM for your vehicle, a DVOM digital voltmeter, T-pins, a shop light or flashlight, and safety glasses. First thing you need to do is locate the PCM on your vehicle. First we will be showing how to test the voltage drop of the power circuits. Then you need to identify the correct pin for the power and the correct connector. Use T-pins to properly back probe into the circuit. Connect positive lead of the DVOM to the PCM power circuit. Connect negative lead to the battery positive. With vehicle running or key on engine off, measure voltage drop in the circuit. You will do this procedure for all the other PCM power circuits. The voltage drop should be no more than 0.05 volts or 50 millivolts for both power and ground circuits. Record data. Now we will be testing the ground circuits of the PCM with a voltage drop test. First you will need to find the correct ground pins in your connector. You will also back probe into these circuits with T-pins. Then connect the positive lead of your DVOM to your PCM ground circuit. Then you will need to connect the other lead to the battery negative. Record your readings. Some probable causes for excessive voltage drop are loose connections or corrosion within the circuit. When there is excessive voltage drop within the power or ground circuit, the PCM will have a delayed reaction or circuits that are controlled by the PCM will not work properly or not at all.